Hello and welcome back. Thanks for watching. I promise you will not be disappointed. This is a good one. So on my channel, when I talk about the Democrat Party state operatives in the media who are essentially just party propagandists pretending to be trustworthy, hard-nosed, just-the-facts reporters, I'm talking about guys like Philip Bump from the Washington Post, a guy who regularly proves the meme true. It's different when Democrats do it. Now, I've called Philip Bump out in several videos, but this is by far the most embarrassing for him. Thankfully, for all of us, he agreed to do an interview with a guy named Noam Dorman from the Comedy Cellar podcast. And it does not go well for Bump, nor does his hilarious temper tantrum on Twitter afterwards. Now, this is an hour and 15 minute long interview, so I'm gonna show you some quick chunks, then the aftermath, but I'll put a link to the full interview in the description. Um, so, you, I asked somebody, I don't wanna say his name, who is the smartest guy in America yeah. who thinks that the Hunter Biden story is a nothing burger? Okay. And, and this guy told me, Philip Bump. Oh. So I am um, of the opposite opinion. Okay. And I want to talk to the person, the smartest person I can find on planet Earth right. who disagrees with me. That's great. Okay, well, I hate to disappoint you, but I, I, I would not say the Hunter Biden story is a nothing burger. Okay. I would say yeah. that the effort to extrapolate from Hunter Biden to his father is at this point a nothing burger. Okay, which so there's a so, distinction that I think yes, is yes. I, so, yeah. so uh, I, I accept the distinction, and I am, okay. I'm of the, I disagree with you on that. I Fine, think, great. I think it's terrible for the father. And I want to start okay. by also saying the notion that we should expect to see a check winding up in Joe Biden's account is absurd. Okay. Do you believe that Joe Biden knew that he was helping his son when he did things like make these calls, receive these calls in front of them, take a meeting with these people? Here's what we know. We know from testimony from Devin Archer in particular, Devin Archer having been a business partner of Hunter Biden's, uh, that there would be times, 20 occasions, he said, over the course of something like a decade of the two of them working together, uh, during which, uh, in particular, Joe Biden would be calling his son Hunter. Hunter would pick up the phone as he was in a meeting with other people, put it on speakerphone, and say, hey, here's my dad. Dad, say hi. Do I think that Joe Biden, when he was cognizant of the fact that Hunter Biden was in those meetings, was aware that Hunter Biden was probably using that as a way to bolster himself? Yes, I think he probably was aware of that. Now you see now, you know, fucked up, you know that, don't you? Does that mean that Probably he, or, or for sure? I don't know. I can't read his mind. But I think, yeah, he was probably aware of it. Well, who, how many times? Look, I'm, look I'm, I work for the Washington Post. Probably means for sure. In, in how, how many times like, you, have you ever say. called up and had conversations about the weather with strangers? Never. Strange. I don't understand. I'm he, saying he that wasn't calling. He wasn't calling Hunter Biden's business associates. He's calling his son. But wait a minute! Didn't Bump just admit that Biden probably knew that he was helping his son's business by making those calls? Do I think that Joe Biden, when he was cognizant of the fact that Hunter Biden was in those meetings, was aware that Hunter Biden was probably using that as a way to bolster himself? Yes, I think he probably was aware of that. But I, I don't understand. I'm he, saying he that wasn't calling. He wasn't calling Hunter Biden's business associates. He's calling his son. Right, but and this then, was particularly in but, the time then, after Bo Biden had died, and he was building a stronger relationship. Well, with his son. normally, <coughs> normally when you get a call when you're in a meeting, you say, "Dad, I'll call you back." And then, yeah, but that was meeting. Hunter Biden's decision, not Joe Biden's decision. Right. Was Hunter Biden no, trying there, to there leverage also, those calls? There, certainly. Archer also said that Hunter called Joe. He sometimes. said there were occasions in which that had occurred. Yes. yes so, right. that, so, but, but if you do, you have children. Yes. If your son calls you, do you know what it is or do you just take the call? Do I think that Joe Biden, when he was cognizant of the fact that Hunter Biden was in those meetings, was aware that Hunter Biden was probably using that as a way to bolster himself? Yes, I think he probably was aware of that. No, I, I well, no, I, I don't. If I'm in a business meeting, I'll usually. But that's not, that's not what you're saying. You're saying Hunter Biden called Joe. If, if, he, if Joe Biden picks up Hunter Biden's call and Hunter Biden's in a meeting with people, it's not Joe's fault for answering, nor is it Joe's fault if Hunter Biden answers the phone when Hunter Biden's in a business. No, meeting. no. I, I'm saying Biden made uh, speeches. Where did I have it? Where did I, I had it here? Um, this is from Reuters. Boy, Biden said the United States was ready to, to help Ukraine stabilize and strengthen the economy. It wanted, right. but it warned le he warned leaders they needed to crack down on abuses within the political system. Right. The only thing worse than having no hope at all is having hopes rise and see them dashed repeatedly on the shoals of corruption. He referred to the cancer of corruption. Now, you're in charge of corruption in Ukraine. You're making these speeches about corruption in Ukraine, and your son is going to work for the, sure. crimi the criminals. The criminals. And you're having 20 casual conversations and meeting with them. Right. 
you know, it, listen, it, the only the alternative is that we need to get this guy. This guy's a okay. fucking Look, idiot. You're, you're, you're conflating a lot of different no, things No, I'm not here. conflating anything. You are, unfairly. You are, absolutely. What am I you, conflating? Look, you asked me. I'm the expert here, right? No, you idiot! That's why I'm why, What am chair. I conflating? Here's what you're conflating. These 20 calls were not all in partic- with people from Burisma present, right? That's not the case. We don't know how many of these calls let's, involve let's potential say it's, Burisma executives, let's say if it's, any. Let's say it's three calls. Let's say it's zero. Why, can, why do you get to pick a number? We because don't know Arch, what they are. Uh, no. But, but, but this is important because Burisma is the only thing that the Republicans have been able to hang their hat on. Burisma is identified as as criminal. They're, they're, they're throwing bribes all over the country. Right. There are some significant <laughs> yeah. questions both about Burisma and the owner, uh, he, Mikolas Luzczewski. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's true. He decides it's okay to meet, have dinner with these people. Now, how is that perceived? Now, that's that's uh, the only reason he would do that, obviously, to help to hook his son up in some way. So I don't remember the timeline of when this dinner occurred. I'm the expert here, right? So I can't I can't speak to that. Well, isn't that convenient for you? When was this dinner? I don't remember when this the dinner, dinner was. March twentieth, twenty fifteen. Is right. The dinner. Fine. So this was before. This, this is, was right at the outset. Or I don't remember Biden when made his anti-corruption was. speeches in 2014, at the end of 2014. Sure, fine, great. <laughs> Man. Well, I mean, the, the, the primary pressure campaign on Shokin began in 2015. And this was after right. Burisma— So who had, else was at the dinner? This I don't was recall. after Burisma had been identified as a, as a uh, cr- corrupt enterprise. Sure, but I don't remember how many other people were at the dinner. Here's a good idea. Have a point. If you're in charge of American policy in Ukraine and you've identified— corruption as sure. your number one as the number one problem and you are and your son first of all you should stop him but your son takes a yeah, job he should have and he was warned your, by the your state son, department your to son do takes a job with mm-hmm. those people right you do everything you can to make it clear to those people listen stay the fuck away from me you're criminals i don't know what's going on with my son but do not expect me to be chummy with you do not do not. I'm not having dinner with you. I'm not taking calls with you, and you're putting me on speakerphone, whatever it is. So what, what you're not going to concede, and I guess maybe you you, you understand why I'm, I'm pushing it. No, lay it on me. Let's see what I don't concede. Is that the vice president of the United States, sure. in charge of corruption, right. knew that when he was helping his son look good to the criminals, he was communicating to Ukraine, hands off Burisma. Deceding the point that you think Joe Biden should have done all these things, which assumes that Joe Biden had the same assumptions you did, knowing what he knew about the situation in Ukraine and Burisma. Acceding even that, you also don't know that Joe Biden didn't do any of those things. And if Joe Biden did say those things, no, I and Hunter Biden, let me finish, and Hunter Biden picks up the phone when he's in a meeting, Joe Biden says, hey, how's it going? And he's like, oh, I'm sitting here with these people. And Joe Biden, maybe Joe Biden's irritated. You just don't know about these things. But what we do know is... We have a business partner who says he wasn't involved no, in business. No, we know no, that he cracked no, down the joke. No, 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 no. Like, it just, we know they sat down to dinner. And we know— Yeah, that, one time. One time. Part. One time yes. is a lot. But you don't I know. sat down with Al Capone. It was just once. But do you know, do you know <laughs> that Joe Biden was aware of who was at the dinner? Absolutely. Of course he was. Of course he was. Okay. All right. Now, now there's other stuff that came out in my research here. So first of all, uh, Matt Taib— so, Okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I, I appreciate this. This has been very entertaining. All right, you know what? Let's 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 let's, 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 let's get because we're because we're not getting anywhere because you because you because you you were just you 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 refuse to move from. Okay, yeah, this is this. Let's this go over the laptop. Engaged. Let's go. Let, what, no, was, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do this. I'm, not, I'm just not going to. There's no point. There's no point. I appreciate you having me on. I was really it? Do. There's just no point because you you all you want to do is you want to have me here as the putative expert so that you can present me with things that have been debunked multiple times that I've written about. What's that, been debunked? These claims, I've written about this, about this this argument about his dad calling him. I've written about this. Did you read what I wrote? It's not debunked. Neither of us were there. Well, I, I debunked it in the standpoint that I've already addressed this and, and presented the counter arguments to it. Okay. Like, so. so. <laughs> I absolutely can see the point that ta- there may be direct evidence that Joe Biden took bribe money. That may, what that may come ta- up. What do you take from the text message to his adult daughter? Uh, hundreds of text messages. I have to give fifty percent of my income to Pop. I have no idea what that means. I don't. I have no idea what that means. Well, it's it's it's. it's it, I know it's circumstantial evidence, and you prefer that. No, what what, what could it I, mean? I have no idea. Hmm? Wait, what? You have no idea what it means when Hunter Biden tells his sister that he has to give fifty percent of his money to Pop. What else could it possibly mean other than what it clearly says? No. Well, did, I appreciate I, your. Has anybody has anybody asked her? I don't know. I don't know. Don't you think somebody should ask her? Okay. 
Like, I, I'm not, I just said I don't know, and I don't know what to make of it, so I have nothing yeah, to say about it. Right there, Hunter's text says half of his income goes directly to the president. Thanks. I don't know what any of that means. Anywho, ready for lunch. Yeah, what, but doesn't what do you want me to say? Yeah, but you say there's no evidence, no evidence, but then there's a text message where he says, I give Pop 50% of my money. That's, that's evidence. Okay, well, what do you, okay, fine, fine. So It's evidence. I appreciate you having me on. It doesn't, it, that, something like that. Who do you think is being more? I, I listen to that and I'm saying, am okay, I, am I, okay, what, you, you can free you, to I go. Think, I feel you want me to leave, like just walk out in the middle of this you because that way you can you like can, You can go. Right. Is this a standard really? This is the way the Washington Post handles people who disagree yeah, when with I, them? Yeah, when I agree to be on for 45 minutes go, go, and then go. I get on for an hour and 15, yeah, go, that after a while go, I go. go. <laughs> what a little piss boy. You mad, Bump? He's mad because he had no response because he's busted. Neither he nor anybody else in the so-called free press is interested in answering any of these questions because doing so would just benefit their political opponents. This guy actually believes that his lies are protecting democracy. So right after Bump's narrative in defense of Joe Biden was upended during this interview, Miranda Devine from the New York Post put out an article titled How a Comedy Seller Podcast Backfired on One of Joe Biden's Media Gatekeepers. Bump, who could be a minor character in Evelyn Waugh's classical satirical novel about journalism, Scoop, has been wrong on almost every aspect of the Hunter Biden laptop saga. Just as Bump was on the Russian hoax and the Donald Trump photo op controversy in Lafayette Park in DC. For instance, when every other media organization finally admitted that Hunter Biden's laptop was real, Bump clung to his story that the laptop was seeded by Russian intelligence. A George Washington University law professor, Jonathan Turley, points out Bump spreads false stories and then refuses to accept the facts, even after he's been proven to be spectacularly wrong. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Well, bumped in like that at all and let everyone know on Twitter. The non-high point of my day yesterday was showing up for a podcast interview to have the host spend an hour plus trying to gotcha me over Hunter Biden stuff. <laughs> really good use of my time. <laughs> Not sure the intent of this was explicitly to ask dim-witted questions repeatedly until I lost my patience, but it does seem to have paid off for the host. <laughs> Man. I'd show you the hilarious responses to that post, but he deleted it. Gnome responded to him saying, FYI, I went home and checked every single one of your references to testimony I had supposedly not read, and I found that every single representation you made appeared to be mistaken. I emailed you all those references before I cut them into the show. And like I said, you can see all those cuts in the full interview, which I highly recommend you go check out after this. Gnome says, we did not ask you a single gotcha question, and your charge of dimwitted fits neatly on the long list of personal swipes you took when no answer of substance came to mind. You see, this guy Bump isn't interested in investigative reporting or holding power to account. He's only interested in defending and protecting Joe Biden. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to vent those frustrations. See you all in the next one.